what's up everyone it's Maddie Carwheel back with another video and I just want to say this I made this video back in February but I have some things to add and I may repeat some of the things I did in my last video I watched I rewatched it by the way but the only reason is because either I forget I mentioned them or because I want to mention them again for a particular re reason anyway uh this video is going to be an interesting one. Be sure to grab your popcorn, grab a drink, and make sure before I get into it, make sure to like and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Now, there's one last thing I want to say before we start the video. I just want to say I'm switching my filming schedule up a little bit. And the reason being is because it's too much on me to film four videos a week. And I just, and I feel like if I spread it out, then that way... I don't think of more video ideas to film. So I'm thinking of just filming Tuesdays and Thursdays so I have more time to think and it feels like it's too much on me. So after this week, after tomorrow's video, I'll switch over I'll switch over to a video on Tuesday and Thursday so that schedule will be released. So I'm sorry guys, it's just it's too much on me and it starts to feel like a chore when I film like almost every day. So I feel like I need a small break and I feel like this will help me. So I hope you guys understand that. Thank you guys for understanding. But without further ado, let's get into it guys. So, basically, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm sorry for starting to mix my words. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video just now, make sure you have a consistent schedule. That is, like, key. But the main thing you want to focus on first, when you first start filming as a YouTuber, is make sure you focus on the content first. Don't worry about thumbnails, intros, outros, nothing like that. Just make sure the content is good of the video you're filming. And make sure you focus on getting your filming skills up. Like make sure the camera is still all that jazz. Because I feel like that's the most important thing. Not many people care about the thumbnail. Yes, the thumbnail drags you into the video. But it's more the content of the video when they click on the video. Is what the main thing is and the most important thing in the video. And make sure after you get that figured out like your filming skills. Make sure to have a schedule. I'd say that would be number two. So first, filming skills and content. And then I'd say your schedule for when you want to film stuff out. And don't really worry about intros and outros. Like, once you get into it, you can. But some YouTubers don't have intros and outros. And they just, like, say, yo, what's up, guys? You know? But it's really your way. YouTube is kind of your way. Like, the way you want to make your channel. It's not like you have to do things a certain way. It's, the, it's basically the way you want to do it. And some people don't really put thumbnails on there. But most YouTubers do. And some people, some YouTubers don't even put, like, titles in there they just like show pictures of them shocked and in my opinion you would just go on a little rant about thumbnails when i see someone's face in the thumbnail shocked i'm like i'm more eager to click on it but some all people are different because sometimes when they see the title and they have like a inter interesting bold blasting thumbnail that looks really cool and that doesn't show their face some people still want to click on it and i'd probably still click on that but in my opinion when you show your face your shockness or your sadness or your happiness i'm more likely to click on it or if you say i can't believe this happened or did you see the look on her face that makes me want to click on it and when you do put something in the thumbnail especially your face or or your face or whatever picture you have make sure that it's not blurry make sure it's a steady picture so that's really important as well. And I'd say don't whenever you do improve your camera skills, kind of like me. And I feel like this video is appropriate for me to say since I at least have 100 now. When you do, when you do get settled and everything, make sure that you don't go back and put thumbnails or intros and outros on it. Don't go back and fix your other videos. Because then, like when you look at other people's videos, like some people, when they start liking your channel, they go to your channel and they look at your older videos. Well, it doesn't really, it kind of erases the path that you took to get where you are now. It's kind of like painting over a wall that you just worked hard on, like a graffiti wall. Like, let's say a painting. Yeah, let's say a painting. That's a better example. Sorry, guys. I'm not encouraging graffiti. Don't do it. But, like, I'm talking about graffiti, like, on someone else's property, like the bad graffiti. Do it, do it at your own risk, okay? That's what I mean. Don't take it offensively. But let's say a painting, for example, let's say it's like painting over a painting that you, somebody worked hard on, like the Mona Lisa. It's like taking a, a blue jar of paint and taking that paintbrush and going across the Mona Lisa with it. It's erasing everything they worked hard on. So don't go back and fix your other videos because that take that shows the path that you work to get there. And if you do that, it's like you came out perfect on YouTube. Nobody comes perfect out on YouTube. It's only whenever they get to their certain amount of perfect. You feel me? 
And another thing, this is kind of related to growing your channel, but when every, the first hundred subscribers are the most important. I'd say thank, in your videos, thank your subscribers for subscribing at least every five subscribers. Say thank you for so-and-so subscribers. Thank you for so-and-so subscribers, you know, because that's just important and it's just the polite thing to do. And I'd say make a special for like 50 subscribers or 100 subscribers saying thank you guys, you know, doing a and a or whatever, just thanking your subscribers. And another thing is that, like, I heard this, I don't know if it's true, but when you hit 100 subscribers, YouTube pushes your videos out to more people, and more people see them, and it, they say the first 100 subscribers are the hardest, and you eventually grow easier, but I don't know if that's true. But I will say that, like, when you do, when you hit 1,000 subscribers, that's when you can start making money off ads and stuff when you hit a hundred thousand you get your plaque like your silver plaque saying congratulations for a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube so if you think about a hundred subscribers hundred thousand subscribers seems like a lot but think about it just a thousand once you hit a thousand it's just just a hundred more and another way to push out your videos to more people in a way is telling more people about your channel maybe creating a instagram account for your YouTube channel, that, that's an idea I do, I did. If you haven't already, you can follow it, it'll be right here. And Maddie underscore cartwheel, no capitals or spaces. Make sure you tell your friends about it. Put, when you have a new video, link it and put it on your Instagram story or Snapchat story and saying, hey guys, you know, post consistently on your YouTube, Instagram or whatever, YouTube, Twitter. YouTube, Twitter didn't really turn out for me, but Instagram did. And make sure you, you know, push out, make it public count for your YouTube, Instagram. And just don't, if you don't want your private account revealed, like your main account, don't give it. But like, just, just have an account for your YouTube Instagram so people can check it out. Have social media accounts for your YouTube. That, that will help you a lot is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but most people, the best social media will probably be Instagram, Twitter. You know, you can't go back and edit. And Snapchat's more of a personal thing in my opinion. Maybe Facebook if you want, but not many young people use Facebook. So Instagram would probably be your best bet. But that's just my opinion. But I tell my friends about it. I tell like people to. I ask people to subscribe. I say, hey, I ask my friends. I'm not, I don't tell my friends. I don't say go subscribe. Like that's more of a demand. When I say tell, that's more, when people say tell is more like a nicer way of saying demand. But in my opinion, but. I ask my friends if they can subscribe, or I ask people and say, hey, that's where I'm looking for, ask, A-S-K, <laughs> if they can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll tell other people about it and say, hey, you know, have you read my Instagram? And I'll ask them, like, hey, can you follow it or subscribe or check it out? So, yeah, that's basically another way is tell people about your channel, and they'll more likely tell their friends and their friends, and then, or maybe people will just see it on YouTube randomly. And another thing is pick a name that nobody else use don't just pick like don't just say your f first and last name i guess if you want but i chose maddie cartwheel because it's unique and i didn't know this but not many of not many other channels have it and it's the first channel to pop up when you search it try picking channels like that if you're not sure if that channel already exists search it up <laughs> and it's easier for people to find your channel so that's another thing that's what makes it easier for people to find your channel then therefore more subscribers that's all i have for right now but if I think of more, I might, I might make a part two. This was sort of a part two for my first one, but more of a better example, more of a better me explaining it. That's the word I was looking for in more depth. I don't know if I mentioned the same things like more than once. Like, I don't know if I mentioned like, hang on, let me think of what I was trying. I don't know if I mentioned like the same things like more than once. It was a lot of the same things in my last one. So, uh, yeah. So basically, I hope you guys enjoyed this video without being said. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Remember, you look both ways before you dare to cross that street. And remember, everyone deserves a smile. To the loo, my fellow kangaroos. That's a wrap. We are out. Peace. I love you guys. I'm sorry. I was just messing up my words in this video. I wasn't. Re I wasn't. I didn't prepare myself. But I hope you guys got the information you needed, and I hope this really helped you guys. Bye, guys. Have a great day.